These are all of our fishes, or a lot of the fishes that we brought back from uh, French Polynesia. <laughs> My obsession with fish started pretty early. I was always into animals as a kid. I love this fish, I caught it in a kayak. So I set up a tank in my room and I remember just being obsessed with it. And you know, by the end of the summer, I had two fish tanks in my room. By the end of high school, I had like seven. And you know, by the end of high school, I was like, mm, maybe I can like turn this into a career. Usually by the time you're encountering a red snapper, it's in a fillet, but they've got these pretty impressive fangs and everything. Well, I study the evolution of morphology uh, pretty broadly. Um, and I'm really interested in kind of vertebrate morphology and more specifically fish. Like this one is a scale eater. Uh, so it eats exclusively the scales and tails of other electric fishes. I think they're this kind of phenomenal group of vertebrates that have evolved uh, a broad diversity of morphologies and life histories and all kinds of other cool traits um, that we typically associate fish with. Look how pretty that is, man. So in my lab, we mostly focus on the evolution of the fish skull. We look at how it's changed over time and how uh, other factors like diet, habitat, um, sometimes sexual selection can affect the evolution of the fish skull. The micro CT scanner is probably the most critically important tool in the entire lab. It's this gigantic box that shoots x-rays through other objects and allows us to visualize the internal anatomy of different specimens without having to dissect them. We've scanned fishes that are like almost 200 years old. We get to see really fine scale detail about kind of the insides of bones even. Uh, we can see like uh, teeth developing inside the jaw, all kinds of really crazy things like that. What's really unique about this scan is that this particular specimen has a tongue-eating isopod <laughs> uh, stuck in its mouth. Um, so I took an image of it, just a screenshot originally, and tweeted it out uh, to some of my friends on, on Twitter, like the, like the fish mob. Uh, it really took off. Uh, a lot of people were uh, equally grossed out by it. I think understanding how the uh, skeleton and how the morphology of organisms responds to the environment is also super important. Uh, we know the environment is changing very rapidly. Uh, and because fishes are, many fishes are so economically important, it becomes really it becomes really pertinent to understand how they might also respond to these changing environments as well. The more we know about our natural world and how it came to be, the better we are off for it.